Continuing coverage now following an exclusive report on NBC6 News involving a racially charged incident with a downtown development authority employee. Action is now being taken. Executive Director Liz Swain outlined an update of the DDA's policy on public encounters during a virtual board meeting happening today. That cell phone video you see there showed someone yelling racial slurs and pulling a gun on a DDA patrolman. Swain says the DDA is considering purchasing up to four body cameras. We have recognized that there is a need for more than a he said, she said out in the field. Because one of the things that uh, detectives need, that police officers need in order to file charges, in order to arrest someone and file charges, is proof of an incident. A board member asked if there is an ongoing investigation surrounding the incident involving the bail bondsman employee and the DDA employee, Dendrick Bell. Swain said she hasn't received any additional communication from police.